Hello gaming friends, it's Ella here with an awesome video on how to get to Gerudo Village from Outskirts Stables. Now I'm here at this shrine above Outskirts Stable and I'm just going to glide on down to the stables and I'll show you the rest from there. So the white horse would be that way. But we're taking the opposite path. We're going that way. Now what I need to do quickly is I need to get a horse because you need to speed past a few things. So I'm gonna take Pinto. And so you'll need to do that. Probably take a horse, I recommend taking a horse. It's a long trip there. I'm going to take Pinto and also you need something you should if you have the pro if you don't have the problem that I have then you can then you can um, then you can do this but if you do I have a I have a glitch in my Nintendo so I make Link move this way it moves the opposite direction the characters just have a mind of its own and stuff like that so you're gonna have to do this so this one doesn't trust me yet so i still have to um give him some more love so instead i'm gonna get a different horse i will take out my other horse coupon and if you have the extension pass um you'll see what i'm about to do so i'm gonna take coupon up he has a special saddle because this is the expansion pass Okay, let's go. So as I was saying, <laughs> um, we will be going this way towards the Mole Mountain place. And this special saddle, he can teleport. So that's why I picked this saddle. On the way there, there's a blue Hinox in the middle, in the, lying in the middle of the road. He's, he's crazy, he just lies there. Anyways, um, once you get here, We'll be going this way. So, yeah, this way. This side of the rock. I shouldn't have gone at night because there's then just been this more monsters. Beetles all the way over here. Oh my gosh. Okay, just, yeah, there, there are a lot of monsters on the way here. So just follow my lead, um, follow my video, and you'll be fine. So, just go straight past these guys. Hey, bye. <laughs> they won't. They won't chase you over the bridge. So, I don't think they will. Yeah, they won't. The music stopped. Oh, coupon, careful. So now there's a Hinox here. Oh, stop. And with this guy, you just gotta. Slowly, 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 and we'll sneak past. Really, um, if you're a professional fighter and you've got good weapons, you can fight this guy, but I am not in the mood to fight Hinoxes right now. So I'm just going to save, just in case he does start attacking me. The last time I tried this, he didn't, he didn't wake up. I just had to crouch all of, I just had to go around him. It was, yeah, he didn't really notice me. So just try and be as quiet as possible. If you want, you can use stealth potions, but I'm not going to use it because I don't have any right now. Just try to stay on the outside of the island thing so he doesn't wake up. Oh, this guy's scary. I can defeat a red Hinox, not a blue one, and I don't want to try. So yeah, just just keep going. I think he's too he's still he's listening too much of his snoring. Why's that bubble coming out of his nose? It's just weird. Just 
Just keep an eye on him. There's an eye there, and if that opens, he'll see you and he'll run after you. If you don't have a problem with your Nintendo like I like I do have, um, you can just ride your horse and speed right onto the bridge. He'll probably wake up, but he won't be. He won't. You'll be so fast on your horse that he he, he can't follow you over the bridge. So then you'll be fine. So he's still sleeping. And I made it past him. And you can sp start speeding away. So you don't want to wake that guy up when you get past him. So. Yeah. And for the rest of the journey, you guess it, more monsters. Yeah. Because I'm just going to call Pin Pin um, Coupon. This is what the saddle does. You can teleport. And I think I've actually showed you already what the, this saddle can do in the, my video of how to get to Rito Village and to, from Tibet, the bridge stable. I think I already showed. Yeah, I showed you in that one. Uh oh. Okay, so. Um, book opens on horses will also be a problem. They'll probably try and get me off here. Oh my gosh. Ah. I'm just going to eat something because that, uh, that did more damage than I expected. So, yeah. Don't chase after you for long. Just keep galloping and they won't get you. You don't have to fight them. Unless you do want to. Then, then, then you go ahead. <laughs> so, there'll be a f um... Wait, you go this way, yeah. Um, there will be a stables with a shrine. Somewhere, somewhere here. I don't know where. Uh, wait, there's a shrine. Yeah. You can go get that one if you want. I'm not going to do it right now. So, you keep following this path, basically. I think you'll also follow it automatically. Yeah. So, and there'll be a stable up here. And a few exercises that you need to do to actually fit up through the rocks. Okay, follow the rocks. Careful of those. If your horse dies, in, my, in one of my other videos, I did where to find the horse guard, and it can, whoa! And in that video, you can find this fairy guard that can tell, that can bring your horses back to life. She, she'll be pretty helpful to you. So make sure to watch that if any of your horses died. Or if you just want to yeah. know that you have her for more safety. I think there'll be rocks falling. So let's just keep going. Well, it's pretty straightforward. You just keep following the path until there'll be a blockage of rocks, and I'll show you the method to get past that as well. So there's the blockage. The last time I went on, there were. Oh, last time I went on, there were mo moblins rising from the floor. So, yeah, be careful of those. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to get Magnesis, oh, is next stuck, next stuck, I know. You're going to need to get past, you're going to get out your Magnesis, like this guy, hi, <laughs> just knocking these guys with this thing, ow, ow. No, don't get up the head, that's just me. Okay, that was terrifying. Uh, anyways, just if you want to take your horse with, you can just climb up the rocks if you if you don't feel like taking your horse with anymore. But if you want to take your horse with, just do that method that I just did. Anyways, oops. Ugh, that's disgusting. 
and after that then you'll start seeing this bridge which is I think a sign that you're near Gerudo village or something so yeah you'll have to keep going Sometimes I wish that this is a two-player game so I can play with my friend. And oh my god, she jumped! So sometimes I wish that it was a two-player game so me and my friend could play together in this game, ride horses. Because we really, we really enjoy horses. And yeah, but it's not. So this is the stable that I was talking about. You can go, say, do quests and stuff in the act stables. So yeah, after you get here, you, you can't take your horse any further unless you go with the saddle thing. And down there you can see Gerudo Village. And you can take your horse. Oh, he's not able to come. Okay. Uh oh, these guys have got really strong arrows. Uh oh. So, yeah. They'll pop out on the ground. Don't hit me with any of the arrows. <laughs> I hate those guys. Okay. Anyways, you keep going straight and eventually you'll get to Karakara Bazaar. And if you keep going as well, you'll get to Gerudo Town. It's cold. I'm going to put something warm on. I am very lucky I went to Rito Village and bought this. So you get to Karakara Bazaar and there should be some sand seals that you could probably take a ride all the way to Gerudo Town. I, don't, I can't remember, is it Gerudo Town or Gerudo Village? I don't know. And also, bonus tip, at Karakara Bazaar, over here somewhere I think, there is a memory that you can get. I think it, yeah, so this cutscene will happen as well. I don't think you can skip it, so you'll just have to watch this. Yeah. That's kind of scary. He won't come to you, unless you come to him, really. So you just gotta stay out of the mess, because he'll sense you and he'll struck you, you know. He's a divine beast, so. Okay, so the memory is, I think, up there somewhere. Yeah, so you can get that if you need, if you want memories. So now here yeah, I'm at Karakara Bazaar, and you can speak, when you get to the Gerudo Shrine, speak to, um, there's a guy outside of the shrine that you can speak to, and he'll, he'll help, he can help you out. So yeah, you just keep going straight. You talk to that guy, you come all the way back to Karakara Bazaar. There'll be a guy on the roof at the top of that place. Make sure you have 600 rupees. He'll give you um, he'll give you the, the Gerudo suit and then you can enter Gerudo Town or Village. I don't know which one it is. So yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.